Look at the shine in my hair. I feel like I need to do a hair video. This is not even straightened. It's shiny and glossy. Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm in an especially good mood for some reason, I don't know why, but I'm just really glad I'm filming as always. <laughs> but today's video is going to be a review video and it's going to be on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It looks like this. I am in the shade Medium Deep Tan. It's just a standard concealer with like a wand. Here's like a quick swatch for you guys on my hand so you can see what it looks like. It is very close to my skin tone, it's not as bright but I love the colour. Like, what I do is I use powders that are a bit brighter and I use that to kind of brighten it up if I wish to and that's what I did. By the way I will have a watch me do my makeup number 2 video, that's what I'm going to call it. Um, you guys seem to really like my previous video so I'm, I filmed it again today and I filmed this look. So that will be going up sometime next week because I, I have some videos planned for this week but it might actually it might go up Friday. But I'll keep you updated. So yeah, today I am going to talk about this concealer. It does come in like a box like this. I did get it from Amazon. And I believe it was like £3. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was £3. Um, it does say that it's tested under 7 light conditions. That it's cruelty free. They make it very clear that they are cruelty free. The rabbit is on the packaging and on the, on the concealer itself. Tested with top smartphone models and it has been tested with and without flash. Doesn't give me flashback. It actually is quite nice under any lighting. It also says it instantly brightens and perfects appearance of skin. Conceal imperfections, dark spots and blemishes and gentle enough to use on the delicate under eye area. I have used this on my lid and under my eyes today and I absolutely love this concealer. I've been dying to get this video out for you guys but it's so good I didn't know you could get wet and wild in the UK but I used Amazon and I found it quick and easy to use on there it did take around two weeks to come I would say two weeks it's quite a while but I think it came from the States because there was a custom charge on it but I didn't pay for it I think they had to pay for it I will leave a link in the info box to where I got it from as well but guys I just it's just so good it conceals it's full coverage it's lightweight it's hydrating it blends like a bloody dream it stays on and it gives minimal to no creasing. Sometimes this is the best concealer I have that gives me less creasing and it's even better than Tarte Shape Tape. I mean the Tarte Shape Tape is still my ultimate favourite because it has super full coverage. This one doesn't have as much coverage as the Tarte Shape Tape but the creasing is much less than my Tarte Shape Tape. So that's why I really like it, like it just gives them... Oh hell no! Even right now I don't have no creasing. Normally if I look up you see these lines, can you see them? There's no creasing. It really just conceals its full coverage, doesn't go ashy and the colour's perfect. I don't know, like, I just can't rave enough about this concealer that I need to make a review on this. And I've really been enjoying doing product reviews, like I love it so much. So if you want me to try out a specific product, let me know in the comments below. But I just had to share this with you guys because I feel like every one of you needs this in your collection because it's so good. I do think the only thing they should improve on is their colour range. But apart from that, everything's perfect. It's just such a good concealer. The coverage is not as full as Tarte Shape Tape, but then it's just a perfect concealer nevertheless. Like for every day, even for like a night out, it's perfect. It lasts all day, doesn't fade, and it doesn't crease. Like, sometimes it creases a bit, but most of the time it doesn't crease at all. By the end of the day, it's still full-on intact, and it hasn't budged. I do use an eye cream always, by the way, so I don't know if that's playing a role, but almost all, all, all of my concealers crease a bit. But this one does it less, and sometimes nothing, so. Actually, I even prefer it to my Bobbi Brown one that I recently discovered as well. I mean, they're both good. Like, I feel like these concealers you need in your collection, but this is definitely one because it's just so affordable. It's like three pounds. So yeah, definitely recommend it. You do get 8.5 mil in here, and in the Bobbi Brown one, you get six mil. So excuse me, ma'am, but I'm paying 23 pounds for this and I'm getting only six mil. And then I paid three pounds for this and I'm getting 8.5 mil. Hmm. Just says it all. Anyways, I definitely recommend that. I definitely recommend it now. Especially now, I definitely recommend it over the Bobbi Brown one. 
Tarte Shape Tape is definitely one you should have, definitely. But this is another one you should have if you want a really good drugstore one. And even if you don't want to buy the Tarte Shape Tape, then get this one. It's affordable. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Don't forget to let me know what other product reviews you want me to do because I've really been enjoying doing them. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, I'll really appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.